Well, I told you I found Forsyth's rifles that I'm going to look into joining. Mm -hmm. And I told you about Sergeant York, or not Sergeant York, but Sheriff York, Joseph York. Did you tell Kate about the dresses? I thought I did. Did he? The lady. The lady, go, oh, tell her again. She doesn't uh, look like she remembers. She's got to hear this one. Well, there was, uh, first it starts out with a guy named Forsyth who was not, who was very brave, but perhaps not the one of the Einsteins of the American military. And he decides to have a raid on Elizabethtown, which is now called so Rockville. Goes back the next day stuff and he goes to the jail and he gets out stuff 52 walks. prisoners and they convince him that they're prisoners of conscience and she brings them back. So on February 26th, the British launch a retaliatory so raid on October actually the second battle, the first battle so during the summer, and goes over to the Americans simply sat on the shore and shot at him. They tried to roll over, which lasted not too long. So this time they wait and they come over in the early dawn and by walking across the ice, and as they do. Uh, yeah. The Americans fight back. Yeah. Now, cut to the end. The next day, Mrs. York, Lavinia uh, Foot York, whose daddy was a local so lawyer of some prominence, married uh, Mr. York, who became the second sheriff of St. Lawrence County and eventually three term senator from the, for, in the state legislature for the county of St. Lawrence. And after him, one of the towns downstate is named York. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't remember which county right off the top of my head. So she goes back the next day. Her stuff is missing, her clothes and stuff. So she walks over to the Is this the, the guy that was too brave to shoot? Yes. Yeah. She goes over to see the British commander in Prescott and complains and says, they took all my clothes and they took everything. Before she ran away, she claims to have run 15 miles. She took teaspoons and the money and took off. She goes over to the British commander complains, and the guy to shut her up promises that he'll help her look for her dresses, but she says he made no great efforts in that direction. But the day was not a total loss, as I was able to bring my husband back from the jail in Prescott. <laughs> okay, yeah, so she's sitting there. Now, she wants her dresses. She wants her dresses. She doesn't think too highly. She got uh, Joe, but, you know. So then I went and I researched a little further in Ogdensburg. Apparently, Sergeant or Sheriff York stood at Ford Street with a cannon, and when the British attacked, he and his men tried to shoot it off. The first volley killed two guys. Everybody around Joe York ran away. He stood there trying to reload the cannon and fire it single-handed. The British commander looked at him and said, there stands a man too brave to shoot. So they went and they clubbed him on the back of the head and dragged him off to Ogden, or to Prescott. So the fact the guy is a hero and she's worried about her dresses. But it gets even funnier because two weeks later he goes back over and says, you got some of my prisoners. I want them back. And they give them to him. <laughs> so, you know, old Lavinia may have been liberated, but her, her sense of what was important is a little off. He was the bravest man, too brave to shoot, but he's no dress man. Yeah, not a, yeah, she traded him for two good dresses, you know.